A child of God, the scriptures made claim Colossians 1 verse 14. He said, in whom we have redemption through his blood, my God. He says, you have redemption, you are redeemed through the blood of Christ, through the blood of Jesus. You are redeemed from the cause of the law. You are redeemed from anything that has brought affliction against your life. Dear child of God, you are redeemed from every single thing that was supposed to bring pain, heaviness, and sadness. The things that are supposed to bring hardship against your life. You are redeemed. It says, in whom? In whom? In the Lord Jesus Christ. It says, we have redemption. We have redemption. Yes, we are free. We are coming into that part of our liberation. We are coming into our freedom to enjoy the liberty of God and the blessings that God has extended to us already. Dear child of God, do not keep yourself bound anymore. The yoke of sin, everything that the devil had done to keep you in bondage today had been broken. Whatever it was that the devil had used to keep your family bound, dear child of God, today those yoke will be broken. Whatever it is that seemed to be a limitation on your path, today it shall be broken in the name of Jesus, because the Lord is setting you free. Yes, it says, He that the Son of Man set free is free indeed. Dear child of God, you are free indeed. Your freedom is secured. Dear child of God, you are free indeed. You are free to enjoy your life. You are free to enjoy the blessings of God. You are free to enjoy all the things that God has said are yours. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said in Galatians 3 verse 13, Christ had redeemed us from the cause of the law. Dear child of God, you are redeemed. And I want you to have this at the back of your mind, that you are redeemed. I want you to have this at the back of your mind, that you are not in any captivity anymore. I want you to have this at the back of your mind, that God came to set you free through the Lord Jesus and then you are redeemed. Yes, your soul have been set free. Everything that the enemy had done to keep you in captivity and in bondage. Yes, in that marriage you have been in bondage but today you are set free. You have been in that relationship and you know that you have become a shadow of yourself. Dear child of God, you are set free. Yes, you are free and you are free indeed in the mighty name of Jesus. The agent of the works of darkness that the enemies have been using to manipulate your life, to keep you down, to speak to your mind, to cause you to be depressed. Today you are free from those yoke and you would enjoy your liberty in the Lord Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, being made a cause for us, my God, Jesus Christ decided to make himself a cause for you so that you will be free from every causes. Whoever it was that may have cost you, today it is lifted. Today it is taken off you and it will not remain in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, they hated you. They did not want you to succeed and they pronounced those words against your life. But God is saying to you today, it will not stand because Christ Jesus have taken each and every one of those courses upon himself that you may be set free that you may enjoy your liberty and freedom. Dear child of God, you would enjoy your liberty. You would enjoy your freedom because Christ has redeemed you. Christ has set you free. And everything we turn around for the best in the mighty name of Jesus. He hung on the tree for you just to redeem you, just to set you free, just to ensure that you are enjoying your blessings and no more would anything or anyone deny you the blessings that God said were yours in the mighty name of Jesus. Ephesians 1 verse 17 says, In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. I want you to know that Christ is full of grace. Yes, he came to preach truth and grace. And you have the grace of God in multiple fold. And the Lord is saying to you today that you are free. Yes, it is time that you get yourself loose. It is time you get yourself off that bondage. It says you are free from that sin. 
dear child of God, the Lord God, Jesus Christ, have taken away that iniquity from you. They are taking away that reproach and saying, do not allow it stay on you anymore. Because the Lord Jesus is saying that I've taken every of these things away. By the blood, by the blood shed for your sin, it was taken and then you are redeemed. He's saying to you those things that you have done wrongly, those things that you did and you were not proud of. He's saying to you the moment you lifted up your eyes to say to God, I am sorry. That moment you said to him that I feel sorry for what I have done. Please have mercy upon me. Yes, that mercy is new every morning. And he's saying to you today, I've forgiven you. I've taken everything of you. And then you are released. Do not hold yourself bound anymore. It is time that you forgive yourself because God have redeemed you through Jesus Christ, through the blood of Jesus Christ. And he's saying to you, you are not bound. Yes, you are not a slave anymore. You are not a captive of sin. He's saying to you, you are not in bondage. So it is time that you enjoy your life because his mercies are new every morning. Yes, his faithfulness are new every day and it endures forever. As found in Lamentations chapter 3 verse 23, dear child of God, it is time that you go out there to enjoy your life, to enjoy the blessings that the Lord have given to you because you are no more in captivity, because you are no more in any bondage, because you have been redeemed. Dear child of God, it is time that you enjoy your fruits, the fruit and the blessings of the Lord, because God have made you an heir. Yes, he said you are heir with Christ. And then there are inheritances for you, there are fruit for you, there are rewards for you to receive. And God wants you to enjoy your life to the fullness, Dear child of God, it is time you make up your mind to follow the lamp wherever it goeth, because that is the place that your liberty, your liberation will be much more manifesting in full. Dear child of God, it is time to make up your mind to say to yourself that I will not go back to become a slave. Yes, I will not go back to the things of the world. I will not go back to the works of darkness. Jesus has redeemed me through his blood and today. I'm free and I'll go out there because I'm free indeed. It says, He whom the Son of Man have set free, he is free indeed. Dear child of God, I want you to know that that freedom is permanent. It is secured and nothing the enemy would do would ever get it back upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. That was why he says in Titus 2 verse 14, Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity my god he said from all iniquity from every form of iniquity you will redeem and he did that to purify you unto himself and to make you a peculiar person that will be zealous of good works dear child of god you have been called out of darkness to manifest the light of christ it is time you make up your mind and say to god Help me to be zealous of good work. I know that you have washed me clean. You have washed me by the blood. And from today on, I will do the things that are pure, the things that are rightful, the things that are in accordance to your will. Give me the grace to please you all the days of my life. And I want to assure you, God himself will give you the grace to please the Lord Jesus. God himself will give you the grace to please him. He will give you the grace and the ability to serve him wholeheartedly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So know for sure today that now is come your salvation. Now is come your strength. And now is come the kingdom of our God and is manifesting itself in your life through Jesus Christ. And every of the accuser of the brethren today they are brought down. The scripture says in Revelation 12 verse 10. It says, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Dear child of God, everything that the enemies have been doing to accuse you, to bring those iniquitous living back into your life. Today, God is dealing with each and every one of them, and they would be brought down in Jesus' name. And then he went further to say in Revelation 12 verse 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamp, and by the word of their testimony, 
and they love not their lives unto the death. He says that you have overcome by the blood of the lamp. Dear child of God, you are forever an overcomer. Do not let anything keep you down. Do not let anything continually oppress you. And I know God will see you through. God will cause you to excel. And you would excel beyond measures in the mighty name of Jesus. Enjoy your life to the full because the blessings of the Lord is upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.